Today on CCX News, fentanyl poisonings on the rise. How a local family and a Brooklyn Park church are coming together to save lives. Fentanyl poisonings have shattered thousands of families across Minnesota. But as Emily Haugen reports, a small box at the corner of Broadway and 73rd Avenues aims to combat the crisis. These photographs hold countless memories of Terry Swanson's son, Mateo. We called him Tio Teo. He just was a really well-rounded, well-liked person that really believed in trust and loyalty. When taking what he thought was Percocet from a mutual friend, Mateo died of fentanyl poisoning. He was 22. He really believed in loyalty with friends. And the reason I'm telling you that is ultimately it was the loyalty and trust that killed him. Since the Swansons lost Mateo in March 2023, they've channeled their grief into action. But it's not easy without Mateo by their side. I wish this was something that we both would have known about and did together because we could not because I had to. You need a lot of support for each box. Twin Cities creative agency, Six Speed, is leading the charge on the overdose prevention project. Each box holds a batch of fentanyl test strips and Narcan to treat overdoses. There wasn't any real mechanism for getting it out into kind of the corners of the community where it was needed. The latest box is sponsored by Mateo's family. And you open up, it just says what's in here. And it's local. These are the test strips. A Prince of Peace church in Brooklyn Park. This is something that can meet an actual physical need that, that will really, truly, absolutely save lives. If Mateo had had a test strip, he would be alive. Pastor Natalia Turfa says they've already refilled the box a number of times over the last few weeks. There's almost no one within our congregation who hasn't been touched by this in some way. We were really close. Through this partnership and advocacy, Terry hopes Mateo's memory lives on beyond the photographs, and she hopes his message catches on too. Everybody's very compassionate. Everybody's really willing to help. I think you just have to ask, and we've asked. In Brooklyn Park, Emily Haugen, CCX News. Prince of Peace's box is located near the corner of 73rd and West Broadway. It's free to anyone, anytime. After a 65-year run, a Brooklyn Center school is shuttering its doors. St. Alphonsus Catholic School is closing after the school year wraps up. Parish officials say enrollment at the school has declined over the last decade. In 2013, the school had 175 students. This year, there were fewer than 100. Parish officials also cited financial strains and a shortage of teachers for the closure. The parish is recommending students transfer to another Catholic school in the area. A Brooklyn Park manufacturer gave a group of high school students a hands-on look at how the business works. It's interesting because not a lot of kids get exposure to manufacturing opportunities and sometimes they're not taught in some of our schools as well. So this is a great chance for us to expose what great opportunities and career profiles there are in our uh, line of industry. Area students toured the Caterpillar campus in Brooklyn Park on Tuesday. They got to use a weld simulator as well as operate equipment in a virtual reality setting. The facility manufactures machines that are used to build and pave roads. The hope is that some of these students who have expressed an interest in engineering and manufacturing could one day work for the company. I think when you're in a manufacturing space, there's always excitement in teaching others about what you do. And I think as far as generating interest in manufacturing, that there's no better way to do that than doing events like this. Caterpillar has a number of jobs available at its Brooklyn Park campus. For a list of open positions, we have a link at ccxmedia.org. The self-proclaimed restaurant capital of Minnesota now has another venue where people can eat, drink, and enjoy some axe throwing. Broadway Bar and Pizza opened its doors this week in the Main Street space formerly occupied by Max's on Main and Clatta Irish Pub. This marks a return for the Broadway Pizza name to Maple Grove after a former location on Elm Creek Boulevard closed two years ago. But this version bears little resemblance to its predecessor or the other businesses that used to be here. Very exciting. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people are super happy we're back. Um, everybody's been coming in really loving just the remodel that we've done to the place. Because, again, we really, we really transformed and gutted this place out compared to what it was before. Really opened it up. This is now the 13th Broadway pizza location in Minnesota, but the first to offer axe throwing. 
Coming up in May, your chance to get a taste of the burbs. PRISM is holding its annual fundraiser on Thursday, May 9th. PRISM Executive Director Michelle Ness says this year comes with a gourmet meal, drinks and fun activities like putt-putt golf. Ness says all the money goes back into the organization to help families they serve. We're seeing higher than ever numbers of people coming to the food shelf, people calling for help with rent assistance. So this event is really important for us to be able to continue to do good work throughout the year. Tickets are sold out for its casual location, but spots for the gala at the Metropolitan in Golden Valley are still available. Anyone can also place bids for the silent auction beginning May 1st. A Brooklyn Park nonprofit is doing what it can to make Mother's Day a little more special for single mothers. For the founder, the mission is personal. It's really hard for everyone, especially single mothers. I grew up with a single mother, so I know how difficult it can be raising children on your own. Scooter Drawn is organizing an event called Dear Mama, held Saturday, May 11th, the day before Mother's Day. It will provide single moms with baby supplies, food, and comfort. This is the first time he's held this particular event. To make it happen, he needs essential items like diapers, baby wipes, and baby formula. Through the process of going to get this stuff, a lot of it I went shopping for. I didn't know how expensive it was, and there was a shortage, actually, on baby formula. So we really need baby formula. Supplies can be dropped off at Living Word Christian Center. Money donations are also appreciated. Distinctive Designs Floral Shop will also provide each mother a rose. The event for mothers is free. It takes place May 11th at Zanewood Rec Center. Registration is required and we'll have more details at ccxmedia.org.